welcome to the eight, eighth part of the Java Fire Simulation tutorial. And in this part, we will take a look at how we, how that we have gotten uh, our cells returned. We need to add them to our existing array. So to do that, we create uh, two for loops, and we create integers, and let's call them um, I don't know i j i y, uh, and they're equal to minus one. And then we can say uh, i y uh, is less than or equal to one, and i y plus plus. And then we would I'll just let's see here set it up correctly and there we go and then I'll change all the I's to J's there we go oh like that cool and now we can then say that uh, again we uh, kind of need our up here to check if we're out of bounds and if we are then we need to wrap around so that's pretty much copy paste so let's say that uh, we have here, and we just change some of these here. So we have x and y value, uh, that's okay. But here we need uh, that should be changed to y, and then we have x value. This is correct. Say so this is also okay. This is how we do it. Yep. Okay. Nothing more to change there. Now we say that our cell array. And then we take the x position, that's the x value, y value is equal to our new cells, or we just got up here. But the problem is that we have a two dimensional array that needs to be added, to, well, or you can say we have a one dimensional array we need to add into a two dimensional array. And that's not the easiest thing to do. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to say for our so for our um, array, we have like this here, and we have zero point zero in here, minus one point minus one, and one point one. So we go from minus one till zero till one. Then we go from minus one till zero till one. Oh, not here. Then here zero 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 one, and out here one one one. No, uh, yeah zero like this. And but instead we want when we have these two values here. We want to get a zero. When we have these two values, we want to get a one. These two, we want to get a two. In here, we want to get a four. So to do this, we say that we take our i value, which is the first one, and then we plus that with one. We multiply with three, then we plus it with our j value, which is the second value, plus with one. So, the first one we have minus one plus one multiplied with three plus minus one plus one. So this year it's minus one multiplied with three plus minus one. Let's see, yep, that should be correct. And minus one multiplied with three, that's minus. 3 plus with minus 1, that's minus 2. Yeah, I'm sorry, my calculation sucks right now. Let's try and do this one more time. Of course, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, multiply with 3 plus 0, which will be 0 to the first one. Correctly enough. Uh, zero. The next one we can say zero plus one multiplied with three 
uh, minus one plus, uh, let's see here, one, like this here. So this will be one times three plus zero. So that's three. Uh, yeah, okay. So my coordinates are a bit off. This, they are the opposite. So this should be minus one plus uh, one, which is zero times three plus one, because this would be zero plus one. So this will be one. Uh, these are all reversed. Um, but it will be like that. Then the next one we can say, uh, let's erase some of this stuff here. write it up so we have um, minus 1 plus 1 multiply 3 plus 1 plus 1 so this here 0 multiply 3 0 plus with 2 we'll have 2 and then we'll have 3 4 5 6 7 8 because the last one is 1 and 1 so we have 1 plus 1 multiply 3 plus 1 plus 1. So this will be 2 multiply 3 plus 2. So this will be 6 plus 2. It's 8. That's a copy 8. There we go. Um, so therefore we can do it like this. And so let's write this up. And what we can do is that we use our i and j from here. So we will say i y plus one multiplied with three plus i oh j y plus one, and then we'll get the correct ones. So now we have done that, we can actually try and print our uh, normal array out one more time. Um, so we have it printed out up here. And uh, it's not printed out up here. Let's say we take uh, draw cells. We want to print our cells with our uh, cell array. And we want to draw it and then we want to print it one more time. So let's see if this works. Cool. I'll put like a lot of this. Okay. So. Let's actually have like a, a line that separates them. That will be easier to look at. Okay, so we can see here that we have five, 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 four, five, five. And then we're going to have here we have a number one here, and we know that number one that's fire that will turn into ash. Uh, if it well, it will turn into ash, and then if there's, for example, with here, this will turn into fire if there's a fire around it. And there's a fire around it, so therefore that turns into that. And let's see, for example, up here, this will also turn into a fire, and it does. But then this will turn into ash, so there's no fire around it here. There's actually one there. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we do this a bit quicker, like uh, 200 milliseconds. There we go. So we can see that they're all changing, and now just we have a lot of ground, three are ground, uh, that spawned a tree. Um, so if we go up here, we start with a fire that spreads a lot, spreads even more, actually spreads even more, but then and even more and more. So we have a lot of spreading fires, then it turns into ground. And then if we want some trees to spawn up, a fire there that doesn't actually wrap around. Oh, that's because it's number five and it has a hard time burning that one, probably. Um, let's see what happens with the cell if it's just a number one. Uh, if so many cells is equal to six, that's uh, six that's water, but it's not water. If it's not water, then there's a uh, 
30% chance that it will turn into ash. Oh, and then there's uh, also will just stay fire. So there could be a fire just staying fire for some time uh, and not really moving around. So it looks looks okay, looks decent. Um, could be worse. So let's remove these printing functions. But this is actually, it's pretty neat to have this uh, print array, the uh, print cells, so you can just print out whenever you want to. So now we actually have an, our array, and we should probably start to like uh, draw it out on the board so you can actually see what is happening. So I think this was uh, a quick one, and let's uh, in the next one draw out uh, the board and. Uh, get some uh, pretty nice graphics on it. So, see you there.